Assalamu alaikum everyone. I hope you're all doing amazing. This is David Hoffman from David's Bin here coming at you from beautiful sunny Muscat, Oman. Today I'm super pumped because I'm taking you to eat at three famous places you have to eat at in Muscat. Yo, my man, how you guys doing? Good, you're doing good. good. Yeah. So first we're starting off with Hussein's favorite breakfast place. Yeah. He swears it's the best here. So we're gonna try that out. <laughs> so the second place is gonna be a cafe. It's a local cafe, serves very good food. We're gonna try that out. The third one, um, should we leave it as a surprise? Yeah, no, maybe. Um, the third place is gonna be, we're gonna go through the entire process of cooking up some delicious Omani food. So check it out. Let's go. Let's go. So this is it, right? Cheese and jam. Hello. Hello. Assalamu alaikum. This is another coffee shop, right? Yeah. Very small joint. And this is how it is here in Muscat. Yeah. Small coffee shops. You have like two, three tables. You have, you know, sodas water, lots of snacks, and we're gonna have some sandwiches. Assalamu alaikum. How you guys doing, good? Yeah. Just a regular sandwich, or what are we doing? So he's doing now a uh, cheese sandwich with the, with the butter, and also he's having another portion of jam with the cheese combination. Yeah. I guess we'll have one. Yeah, we'll have maybe more than one. More than one, <laughs> no, I need this one, one for me. <laughs> so the sandwich is gonna be very fluffy, very airy. He puts four pieces of bread. So it's basically a double sandwich cut into four. This one's cut in half, the other one's cut into four. So we're having three like this, right? Okay, looks good, looks good. And this is it, breakfast. All right. Breakfast of champions here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Good first meal for the day. Exactly, so this one has chips, it's cut in, in fours, this one's cut in fours as well. It's cut in twos and it's like double sandwich. Double sandwich, yeah. Okay. Um, looks like a lot for two people, man. It, it's a lot, it's a lot. Let's just try this one first. Let's go. Look at that, all the chips. People on the way to work come here, grab a sandwich, grab a karak chai, and that's it, right? Yep. And they go. And you also have some spice? Of course. Why not? You gotta have some. Oh, <laughs> you're overdoing it, dude. Mmm. Worth a try for me? Mm hmm. I think so. Of course. And with the spice, right? Mmm. I think some more spice. Yeah, this is like a. This is almost like Cristal, this one. Yeah. Mmm. Let's go. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. It's fluffy, crunchy. The chip aspect is something very different. Here in Oman, they love throwing Omani chips, right? Yep. Mm. Omani yes. chips is everywhere, man. Omani chips? Mm -hmm. In every, everything, right? You have to put it in sandwiches. In shawarmas. In shawarmas. In shampoos. You doing your shampoo too? <laughs> <laughs> That's weird, man. I guess we'll try a different one. What, what's next? Maybe this one with eggs? Yeah, let's do that. <clears throat> Ooh, eggs. Just gonna add some spice. Always oh, right. We need a little bit of this heat. Yep, you need that. Mm -hmm. mm. Hard boiled egg. It's nicer. It's only one bread. Well, two breads. I think there's butter in there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Of course. Of course, there has to be, right? Yep. <laughs> it's called butter and jam. It's called butter and jam? jam. And then what are these? I mean, they're different? This is cheese. That's cheese and this one? Butter, uh, cheese and jam. Cheese and jam. You know what? I'm going to go with cheese and jam just because that's the name of the place, right? Cheese yep. and jam. Yep. Definitely no hot sauce. Mmm. This is super sweet. Yep. The jam. The cheese. Butter in here as well. Yeah, it's butter, cheese, jam. It's really good. And this one's just butter? Butter and cheese. Butter and cheese. Personally, I think they should throw it into like a panini press. That is true. You know? Mmm. Mmm. What's the cheese one? Over a little butter here. Yeah? Yeah. Too much? I'm gonna do something a little crazy, but why not? I need some spice with this one. It's just, it mm -hmm. feels just way too fatty for me. Yep, I'm not a big butter guy. Mm -hmm. Enjoying it? How do you rate this favorite breakfast place? From 10? Nah, maybe a 1. No, I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> it's good, you know, it's, it's unique, it's different. It's a little sandwich spot, right? With some coffee. From 6 a.m., you can come at 7, 7.30, you're gonna grab your sandwich, your chai, and just leave for the office. 
And that's it, my friends. Toast, cheese, jam, chips. Some chai. Mmm, this is amazing chai. By the way, guys, really good chai. The color? It's really nice, yeah. It's nice. You gotta give it a shot then. One year, 200. Basically, three US dollars for everything we ate. It's good. Chokran. Take care, guys. Take care. Thank you so much. Thank you. Where are we right now in Muscat? We are near to Al Alam Palace. Okay. And Ministry of Defense. So that's the ministry right there? Yeah. And yeah, because literally in front of us we have a little rock formation. We have a castle over here. This is the Ministry of Defense. And this is Cheese and Jam, right? And if you guys didn't see, lots of cars here. And the reason for that is because it's a takeaway. They literally just wait in their car. The guys come outside, the waiters, they come outside, they take their order, go back, they make it, they come out, they deliver. That's it, right? Omani fast food at its finest. All right, let's go. Right? How are you, dude? How are you? Amazing, How are amazing. You? I am Sanjuice. Yeah, amazing. Love okay? it. Thank you so much. Chokran. Thank you. Chokran. So that was the old city of Matra. Yeah, um, old city of Muscat as well, we call it. Um, back in the day when the Portuguese were here, yeah, so that was the main area where the Omanis lived and that's like 500 years ago so it's been there for a long time and like even if you notice the architecture it's a lot different than what you see outside of Matra so that is the old city right now it's just basically you know official buildings military palace that's what you have there and as you exit right here you have the cornage so you have the boardwalk you have the waterway right and over there we have a cruise ship and this is it. Let's get going. So after a 20 minute drive, we're here at Dukana Cafe. So this is a famous breakfast spot. We're here for brunch, roughly noon. And uh, hello, hello. Assalamu alaikum, assalamu alaikum. How's everything, good? All right, very good. I'm very excited. He's told me so many good things. I think we need a coffee to start. So um, they were heating up the coffee, but they do it on sand, not directly exposed to fire. So I don't know how that's gonna taste like. Last time I tried something like that was in the desert and it was bread on, on, on like sand, cooked on sand and rocks. This is good. Let's try this one here. Okay. Yeah, it's almost like a mud coffee. That I've seen this in India. It's like, yeah, it's in the sand. I just push it in the sand and it heats up from the bottom. Yep. Here we have the kawa. So what is kawa coffee? Light roasted, looks green, has a lot of cardamom. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's amazing. It lifts you up, right? And this is a traditional Omani house, you know, mud style, very beautiful, very nice beams on top, all wood. And then the tables, this one, the chair, it's like a, like a bicycle, right? They use the bicycle, right? They got the pedals down here. It's amazing. Dude, this place is great. Yeah. So for brunch, we're having their traditional breakfast. It's a mix of everything. And we're going to see them make it for us. So we can tell them what we want, what we don't want. So that's, that's a good thing. On top of that, we're gonna have some like a bit of sweets and a bit of sides. Um, we have suevia, we have habisa. Uh, we're having a coffee right now, but we're gonna have a lot more coffee later as well. I'm excited. It looks good. I love this coffee. I don't know. Some cultures you're not allowed to serve yourself. You know? Really? Yeah. What but this cultures? Is well, like in Japan, you can't serve yourself a sake, they have to serve it for you. you know? So you have, like if you want to have it at home, you get to wait for someone to do it? Yeah, or you get a robot. Really? Well, a robot makes sense if it's Japan. But luckily here, I can drink as much coffee as I want. And right here we have some dates, right? Nice. Sweet, of course, always. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Nice and chunky. Very good. Check this out. This setting you see over here, this is like a traditional kind of Omani mud house kind of setting. Like back in the day, they would build things out of mud and that keeps the heat away and also keeps the cold away in the winter. So it works out really nice, um, as you can see over there. Like some of the traditional stuff that we had back in the day. Um, like yeah. You're already introduced to the coffee thing, right? Like the mug that we serve the coffee with. It's extremely different than any other places but it looks good and the coffee tastes good. And I like this, look at this guys, with the lock right here. Beautiful, this is the doorway, right? Got Wi-Fi over there. Yeah, right here, <laughs> from back in the day, right? And back here, very cool. Obviously they have air conditioning on, but still it's like a different feeling, you know? They have air conditioning on, but also the doors are open, so. The breeze. Like, this helps keep the mud, uh, the cold inside. The mm. mud it helps with the cold. Now let's go to the kitchen. 
Boom. We're now in the kitchen. We're gonna see how they make the mishkak, and we're gonna see them plating our basically our breakfast tally or breakfast platter, right? Absolutely. So we're gonna have a bit of breakfast, a bit of brunch. It's gonna be delicious. They're starting off with the skewers. You're gonna put it on the sticks and then right on top of the coal. So we're getting two mishkaks, so two skewers, chicken and beef. The beef is like beef fat, beef fat. And they also mixed it with like Omani spices, which is like a mix of salt, pepper, and Indian spices. Then we get, we got tamarind over there. We got some cardamom, some uh, turmeric for sure. So it's not beef, it is lamb. Even better. A lot better. <laughs> Now he's serving up the whole breakfast platter, right? So a little bit of everything. So we have chickpeas, we have fava beans, we have feta cheese with za'atar, thyme. Uh, you also have olive oil, and then you have cucumbers and some sour cream. Pul. Pul? Yeah. I have no idea what pul is. Looks like more beans, right? So that's kidney beans, my friends. Kidney beans, fava beans, and chickpeas. Next up, we have dal, yellow lentils. These scrambled eggs with vegetables. And what's it called? Shakshuka. Shakshuka. Everything looks delicious. Everything does. And lastly, we got the bread. That is gonna be amazing. My friends, I'm excited. It all looks great. All right, let's sit down. You ready for the food? I'm ready. This is Dukana meal, sir. So this is Kalia Umani fried meat, mishkat meat, mishkat chicken, and with onion, tomato, <laughs> and this tamari, uh, honey, and vanilla. And this is Dokano breakfast, sir. This one it comes with the shakshuka, full, pasulia, dal, dango, cucumber and olives, feta cheese with salter, fresh cream with honey, and bread. Is this plate? Uh, this is sweya, sir, and kurus with date honey. So rice and basically wheat pancakes. Yeah, yes. Yeah, that one is good. I had no idea we we're getting all this. This looks amazing. So we have two giant platters plus the rice and the pancakes. So that's all sweets. Yes. That's dessert over there. Yes. Yeah. This is sweet, yeah. That's dessert. That's not rice though. That's not rice. Sweet, yeah. yeah, it's like that's noodles. Small noodles. Yeah. Small noodles, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they because it looked very long. Yeah. So I thought it, it was looks like, very similar to rice, but yeah. it's not. And the other one is cruz. It's like a mini pancakes, and we usually have it with the date honey, date syrup. Perfect. I mean, it all looks fantastic. How do we start? By digging in. <laughs> uh, one more. Sir. One more. Oh. Yeah. This is kabisa, flour dessert. Let's 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 try a bit of everything. How about that? Let's go. Let's go. All right. So you gotta choose the bread. I'm going for the Omani bread. The Omani bread, paper thin wheat bread. Yeah. We saw how it was made the other day at Roznan. So it's basically, like, they just put it on a little pan you can see through i know like look at that paper thin i love it and you just go in and grab something right yep so i'm gonna start with the eggs the eggs use a fork obviously to try to get as much as possible in there like a little pocket right a little taco yeah this food's Check amazing this food's amazing mm-hmm mm -hmm. it's kind of like with, with vegetable mm -hmm. Mm. I like it. I love it. This feels very Mediterranean right here. Yeah, it is. It right? is actually, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Between the chickpeas Next. and the fava beans. Yeah, we do that. Kidney beans, kidney huh? Kidney beans first. I love kidney beans. Man, nice, so brown, hearty, earthy, you know? Just, oh, pack it on there. Dude, look how much you gave me. <laughs> gave me full fast. Let's do it. Mmm. Mmm. This is my favorite. Mm-hmm. Me too. How do you like that? It's brown as beans. Always very meaty. Yep. Filling. There's a lot of oil, oil in there. Mm -hmm. well. Exactly. My man's throwing on green shears like Salt Bay. Mmm. <laughs> with the kidney beans? It's really good. Mm -hmm. Honestly. Wow. Love it with the chili. Kidney beans are amazing. I love it. It's like a nice thick gravy, you know? Yeah. And I feel like the chickpeas could just go in and grab a few, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love chickpeas. Chickpeas, Middle East, you know, Southern Europe, all the way down to India, it's king. And man, this chili is... Spicy, right? Uh, spicy. Potent. <coughs> Not spicy enough. Oh. oh. I tried some oh. Goods, <laughs> It is. <laughs> Need some of this. Mm-hmm. We'll do that now. Mm -hmm. That's a sour cream. 
the, no, the scream. The just scream. cream, just cream. Cream and honey. Yeah. Cream and honey. Mmm, sweet. <clears throat> Love it. The honey's amazing. Very cold, and then you add the beautiful honey. It gives that sweetness. Omani honey. A winner. Good stuff, right? Mm hmm It reminds me like, almost like yogurt. Well, like, <clears throat> there is no sourness to it. Exactly. No sour. It's not bitter at all. It's actually pretty light and smooth and sweet. Mm -hmm. I like it. I mean, the honey. Incredible. And then we're missing the dog. And yeah. also the other beans, the fava beans, right? Yeah, let's do that. So always with this bread, right? Yep. I like this bread, but like a little bit heavy. This goes really well with the dal and the The chapati, yeah. yeah. Of course. Water, thank you so, thank much. You so much. <laughs> so we'll get some of this with the garnishing. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. I'm personally a big bean guy. Beans all day, every day. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Veg, man. Yeah, man. Straight veg. There you go. Bam. Mmm. Sweet beans. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is the beans I used to have growing up. My mom was born in Venezuela. We have this a lot. Yeah? Mm. Mm -hmm. Man, I like them. Yeah. <clears throat> We're the opposite. Um, we have kidney beans a lot more. Oh yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I guess this part of the world is more kidney beans, right? Yeah. Well, it's great. So the next one, we grab this bread. Beautiful chapati, right? Yes, that goes really well with the doll. With doll. Mm -hmm. This is this doll reminds me of dolls all over India. Obviously, big influence as well. She's going. She like this, right? Yep. I'm gonna throw some chilies in there. Please throw chilies in here. Chili bay in action. Chili bay. Like that. Nice. I try to get as much doll as possible. Yes. Give some of these chilies. Oh, oh more. <laughs> Good luck. So it's gonna be like a light yellow doll, right? Yeah. Yeah, not too thick. It's perfect. Let's go. Mm. Mm hmm Amazing the chili, right? Yeah. Man, I love the chili. Like oh. it makes everything taste a lot better. You know for me. The chili is the number one thing. It if I, makes if, me cry. Makes me cry, but it makes me feel so good. And it's good for your health, you know? That is very true. You know, some people hate chilies. I love it. Oh man, chilies are good. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Losing all chilies here. More chilies. <laughs> more chilies, of course. We need more. Mm. Well, and now I'm just gonna go in here and grab more of these. But I think we're still missing the, the feta. Yeah, we never tried it. So how do we do the feta? So the feta is a bit strong in taste. Mm -hmm. The light bread is not gonna work fine with it. Like all you're gonna taste is feta. So I'll do it with the chapati. Just grab a little bit, put it in the chapati. That's it. Nice. It's feta. Yeah, I like how you guys added the za'atar. So I was recently in Lebanon, Zatar is king there, you know, wild thyme, basically. It's a mix of thyme, thyme and a few different spices. Exactly, that's what I was gonna say, like, feta is nice, but like you add the contrast of the Zatar and the olive oil, mm -hmm. makes it 10 times better. Mm. Dude, if you're not gonna have this block, I will. This block right here. Enjoy. How creamy it is. It's not as salty as the feta cheese you're gonna find in Greece, right? Best thing to do is just go like that, right? Look at beautiful. Little taco. This for the win. The za'atar. Phenomenal. The za'atar is really nice, man. I love, I love it. it. I love it too. You should try it with labna. With labna? Yeah, labna za'atar and like a little bit of chilies. Exactly. A little bit of pomegranate. Oh. Comes really nice. Oh! Oh! <laughs> it's spicy. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna have an olive. Very meaty olive. Mmm. Burst out. Burst out? Mm -hmm. Is it pickled olives or just olives? Regular olives. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, we have chicken, we have lamb and beef, right? Yep, Things exactly. Chicken, lamb, and beef. Okay, so just try the... I'm gonna go for the lamb first before yeah, it gets... Of course. Yeah. And then we have this... Um, sauce. Different sauces, Tamarind right? Tamarind sauce. Uh -huh. Tamarind sauce. Mmm. Amazing. 
I love lamb. Lamb over beef every day of the week. 100%. So good. Mm hmm. The sauce, the wine sauce is really good. Mm. It's amazing. It's a little sweet, a little cold. It's perfect. And now with chicken. Mm hmm. Smokiness with the charcoal. Wow, nice and charred. I'm trying to play catch up here. Catch up? Don't <laughs> worry, man. No. I'm just getting the chicken. Mmm. It's sure to be. It's perfect. Oh, and here we have a nice piece of fat. Oh, Everything oh. with this. Mmm. My gosh. That flavor. Was it strong? Dude. Intense? Like amazing. Can we try the paleo without the sauce first? Okay. Just straight? Yeah. Don't worry. I'm gonna try this one. Honey. Oh, honey. I didn't even know it was honey. <laughs> I thought it was another type of chutney. Mmm. Combination. It's like earthy and gamey. Nice and tender. Mixed with the sweetness of the honey. Dude, that's amazing. The honey. Great touch. Seriously, though. Yeah, that's right. It's good. I've never had kebabs with that. Really? Like, the first time? Shish kebabs with, um, oh, with honey? Like, a lot of people do this paleo, the beef. Mm -hmm. uh, even the show, they put honey on it. Oh, wow. It's really good. It gives you a good contrast. Yeah, yeah, amazing contrast. Nice and sticky, too. All right, guys. No more meat. Let's jump on to sweet. Wow. Right? There's going to be a lot of sweet for us to cover. A sweet? Yeah, I mean, we have two <laughs> things plus that one, right? It's almost like a rice pudding over there. So I think what we should do here is just, like, literally just grab one of these, dip it in. Literally. And this is uh, date syrup, right? Yep. Like that. That's how it's done. Mm-hmm. Mm. Small wheat pancakes. You want to try it with honey? With honey as well. Yeah, yeah, we can try the honey, right? You literally just drench it. Ooh. Like that. Little pockets. Mm-hmm. It's good with honey, right? I like honey better. That's enough wheat pancakes. Next one. Next one. The noodles. Noodles. Oh, that's where we are. Okay. And uh, it's cooked with sugar and a little bit of milk. Um, the noodles is fried a little bit and it gives it the brown color. And then uh, it's tapped off with some almonds. It tastes good. I like it. I love it. It's not too heavy. All right, my turn to try the noodles. So just like that plain, right? Yeah, literally. Just pick it up. Just pick it up. Try it. Wow. Almost like vermicelli noodles. Ready for the surprise? Mm-hmm. Super sweet. Cardamom? Cardamom, a lot of mm -hmm. cardamom. Mm -hmm. oh, you put cardamom everywhere. 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 I mean, for me, cardamom is the ultimate spice. Like, in everything. It's, it's got a nice fragrance, so it's like... Mm -hmm. It tastes good, it smells good. It's amazing. Mm-hmm. One last one. Oh, the habisa. Habisa. So, what is the habisa? So, it's, um, it's still wheat, kind of... It's like a rice pudding. Roasted, yeah. It's a wheat pudding. Yeah, with milk, sugar. Oh, it's thick. It's very thick. It's oily. Dude, look at this. You got like a tiny piece. Yeah. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm. Not too sweet. No. Just right. And you have a, what is it, pistachio on top. Man, you know what's gonna make it really good? You gonna add coffee on the side? With this sweet, especially? I think we need coffee. Oh man, with the coffee. Oh yeah. Oh man, this cardamom coffee. Mm. The coffee in Oman, blowing me away. Nice like Arabic aroma. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, I think we're done. We still have another spot. Omani cuisine. Let's get going. Woo! So for me, what's gonna end this meal correctly is adding some chilies. Oh wow. Mm, nice spice. Literally, clean my palate. <laughs> Dude, you're crazy. Don't do that. All right. Wow, that was amazing. What a great place. Dukana. Best place to have breakfast slash brunch here in Muscat. Let's continue. More Omani food. You good? I'm ready. Let's go. Last stop on this Omani food tour is Lab Kitchen, right? Lahab Kitchen. Lahab. Lahab. Which means fire. Means fire. Yes. 
Oh man, <laughs> so what are we eating here? Uh, I believe we will be targeting the rice uh, and carb ingredients. So rice and uh, lamb mostly. So this is a family restaurant. As you can see, the seating is traditional and you have modern. So you can sit right here in the middle, regular, you know, sitting on chairs, right. or you can sit laying down, sitting down on the floor, right? Right, right, right. It's just a preference on how you want to eat and enjoy your meal. Right? Exactly. Authentic style on the ground, you know, I would say modern on the table. So we're going to do the ground. For sure, bro. We're for, we're for the authentic experience. Exactly. I love it. So you have like, it's almost like tents, right? So this side, you have a tent. On that side, it's a little more open. And you also have these that are completely open. We can just like literally post up if you want. Yeah. yeah. Take your shoes off. And just go here, right? Right, right, right. Like that. And then you just wait for your food, right? <laughs> you can wait for your food, yeah. It's like, hey, what's up? Yeah. You know, drink some tea, waiting for your food, or you can have some appetizers. It all depends on how you want to enjoy it. Salam alaikum. Salam, dear. How, How are you doing? doing? Very, Very good. I'm fine. I'm fine, thank you. Mashallah, same to Mani, Yani. Mashallah. Yeah. You like it, right? Oh, yeah. I, I know, I know. <laughs> it's nice, right? <laughs> Very nice. So, I'm what are we doing? Uh, we're doing that, uh, especially uh, food in Oman, uh, meat gozi. All right, so we're going to the kitchen to see all these beautiful dishes. Whoa, huge, huge orders. Come, come. Let's do it. Salam alaikum. Salam, dear. This is amazing. Habibi, thank you so much. No problem. What's up, guys? How are you doing? Is this a biryani? It looks like biryani. It's like... It's biryani. So what is it? That's Zorbian. Zorbian. Name is Zorbian. The rice was Zorbian. Alright, so there's uh, one main difference is the is the ingredients that use here is Arabic spices rather than uh, Indian masala or Indian spices. Right? So the, it's called Zorbian and you can basically see it right there layered up on the rice. Oh my gosh. The aroma coming out of there, so good. Whoa, nice spice. spices. Oh, bell pepper. Yes. You have uh, so you have almonds. Yes. You have cashews. What else? This is onion. Yeah, this it's cooked is, in oil. It's basically crispy onions. They're all caramelized. Onions. And then, right, look at this. So what do you put? That's lamb, right? Yes. Wow. You're closing it. Yeah, of course. All right, so this is a big order, huh? Yes. So this is basically to insulate the heat. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, this is all to-go orders, right? So he packs it up, covers it with aluminum foil, and then saran wrap. The last thing. Especially the blade. Okay. With pomegranates. Yes. Part of the design. For the design. First, you will see this is the raw material, raw ingredients that they will put. Cardamom, cloves, cinnamon, and the good rose, some onions, some, uh, what's it called this? The garlic. Garlic? Yeah. And then they put it all in this pot, right here on flames, with the lamb already inside. Okay. All right. And they start steaming it, you know, and cooking it for about 20 to 25 minutes. And after that, they will remove the bad uh, white foam that comes out of the lamb, right? And wherever they done that, they will take it to the oven right there. And they will put the sauce on. And then the, it will start cooking for 40 minutes. So how does it work? Very easy. He adds all those ingredients into that pot. He takes the you know raw lamb, puts it in there, boils it. Once he extracts all those toxins, he puts it on here, and then they add the sauce. Once they're done adding the sauce, then they move it into the oven. Yes. Uh, how long? How long does it put in the oven? Forty-five minutes. Forty-five minutes. Forty-five minutes. And then after that, they take it out. You know, they basically see what the orders are. Exactly. They weigh it. They get the correct amount. Exactly. Then they put it on the plate. Exactly. All that with that amazing rice. Thank you. Oh, I'm excited. It was an amazing man. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Welcome. I'm ready to eat. Oh, ready? I don't know if I can eat the whole plate. No, I'm waiting for the seasoning. Okay, Very okay. Nice. Very nice? Yes, exactly. Oh, I'm ready. This one is uh, the plate. Do you see the plate? This is our plate? Yes, the random. <laughs> Whoa. You're too so much. I will start now. Okay. Yes. That rice, guys, this rice is unreal. The aroma coming out of there is heaven, heaven. Ooh, the steam. Okay, so he shakes it just to even it out, right? Yes, the onions. So crispy onions. I, I bought some designing. Yeah, designer right Lime here. Saffron. Yes, especially one today. Saffron Bay. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so next up, we're getting the lamb. Beautiful, right out of the oven. Oh, I just tried it. Do you like it, this one? Oh, I love it. 
Let's go. Yep. Come, follow me. The owner is the man. He's too much. Him and his brother, beautiful people. Come. VIP treatment here. So we're going to the end. To number seven? Number six. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you. Tokran, Tokran. Are you ready for this one? Oh, I've been ready. I'm all ready. <laughs> This is gonna be epic. We're eating with the owner and his brother. We're having some lamb, some rice, and some mishka. Yes. And we also have the tamarind sauce. We have a few other sauces as well. This is the spicy sauce, by the way. That's the spicy sauce? Yeah, this is the spicy sauce, I believe. Let me smell it. Oh yeah, you can smell the pepper here. My gosh, my friends, I am excited. This is yours. Yes. This is mine. Woo, how do we do this? Oh. We just dive in. Exactly. And you're on your knees. You guys are on your knees like that, huh? Okay, so we like this, huh? Give, give, uh, like him. Most, most Omanis sit like him or like this. Like that? Yeah. Yes. So As, like this? Better is comfortable. Better is comfortable. I, I think this is great. Okay, so yeah. we just go in? Yes. Are we going? Yeah. Are we start? We start. Are you ready? Ready. Bismillah. Yalla. Bismillah. Bismillah. So I usually do a little thing. Okay, ready to go. Bismillah. Bismillah. Just grab. Yes. What do you say? You what tell you me. Think? What do you think you did? Yeah, man, I don't what know. Do Th this fat right here. Wow. Look at that. <laughs> I mean, can I just have that? You say that? Oh my gosh, is this like, wow. what is this, a stomach? <laughs> no, 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 this is, I think, a uh, shoulder. Mm. 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 I'm sorry, I went before you, but wow. <laughs> it's okay. Man, it's like gelatin, mm. super, super tender. Ooh, and the sauce. Exactly. So amazing. And right here we have the rice, still super hot, right? See that? Mm -hmm. Amazing. Wow. Nice and tender. Oh wow. Beautiful. Love how sticky the rice is too. Mmm. Exactly. Mmm. Mm. The saffron. Mmm. So good. This one. Mm hmm You can remove it. Okay. Pull the whole thing. Yes. So like that. Mm. And just like let it. Wow. <laughs> and just like the let bone marrow. Oh. Wow. Like that. Mm. I just do this. Wow. Oh, that was amazing. That was the best thing I've had all day. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Do I separate it to the side, right? Like that? That's especially one, I don't Mm-hmm. Exactly. Mm. I love it. And the next one. Mm-hmm. Oh, another one? Yes. So like this? Well, oh, this one's a little harder. This one you just gotta like, yeah. just let it fall. Sorry guys, just have to do it this way. Ooh, it's still so hot. Very good. This wow. bone marrow on there? Inside, Sorry, is this, is this mine? Can yeah, you yeah. Me, please? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> mm. Oh, there it is, there it is. Make some Omani. Mm. You got like that, right? Exactly. Wow. Mm. Oh, my gosh. This is heaven. <laughs> heaven. <laughs> oh, just, guys, let's start. Let's start. Oh, yeah. All right. Yalla, yalla. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, there's no other way to eat, right? You have to be like this kneeling because if you're sitting down, you're gonna be bending your back way too much. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 Crispy onions. Mm. Also the almonds. Mm -hmm. It all mixes up really mm -hmm. good. Mm. Mm. Oh my gosh. You know, I've had the best lamb dishes of my life on this trip. I thought Indian lamb was good. Mm. Uh, you're it's in so the Arabian Peninsula, my friend. Mm -hmm. <coughs> mm. I love Arabia. Mm -hmm. Whenever we are four sitting on the on the plate, you know, the one that has the salad will go and put the salad for everybody, like this. And then, for example, the sauce, I'll be like, would you like? Yes. And he will say yes, Why then I'll put salt. Would you like? Please. Yes. Would you like some, David? Yes, sir. All right. Perfect. Then everybody starts eating. Yeah, Bismillah. Get some of this lamb. <gasps> now it's it's not too hot. <laughs> it's mm -hmm. perfect, right? Yeah. That one's a special one. It's, that one's special? Yes. I give it to you. Okay. This right here? Yes. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> mm. Well, the combination? So good. Yeah. Do it. Mm. Oh, yeah. With some lemon, huh? Mm -hmm. It gives a nice uh, taste to it. 
Just let me taste. Don't break the taste. You can't taste this one. It's a little spicy. Okay. You like it spicy? Love it. So it's like that? Yes. It's nice. Spicy. Extra sauce? Always. So what's in this uh, spicy chutney? What's in it? Yes. Just chilies. Exactly, chilies. Chilies, I have it, lime on, uh, grill, uh, some uh, thumb arvismo. Okay. Garlic. 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 Yeah. Yes, and uh, something security. So basically everything that's hot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, wow. big ball, wow. big ball. Mm. I love this. This is my favorite way to eat. You know, I'm like the king of biryani, man. <laughs> Just get a little bit of the meat, throw that in there. Yes. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. 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 Pour it everywhere. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes. Anyway, what I like about this is that we're even though we're eating from the same plate, we're all eating our own sections. Exactly. So even if the rice falls, it falls in your spot. And, it, and you dig towards the middle. Yeah, you dig or towards slowly that way, not towards yeah. the sides, and right? When you when you reach the middle, خلاص, you are, you, are, you will stop. go. Yeah, you will stop. Even if you are not full or like this, but this is the culture. You don't go to anybody's else territory. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're not my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. You know, their tradition is to start at the beginning, make your way all the way to the center. The center stays hot even an hour after we ate. Or after we started, right? Yes, exactly. I mean, this is this is for at least six more people because I, I don't even know how you guys are eating this. Still not eating more now. Oh, no, I'm do, you see, do you see the place? Oh. <laughs> this cost is normally around uh, 25 real. 25 real? Yes. 25 real right now is like $70, almost $70. Approximately. Seventy US. Yeah, I mean, it's huge. It's lamb, best quality. Probably the best dish in Muscat right here. The last one. The last one, Mishkak. Mishkak. Ooh, and this is lamb, right? Yes. So lamb skewers Exa and then... We'll exactly. We grab the tamarind sauce. Yes. Sip it right I, here. I like that. Oh, you do like that? Yes. Okay, well, I'll, just, uh, I'll do like this. <laughs> so good. The tamarind. Mm-hmm. Yes. Just rip it off. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Even though it's a little cold at this point, yes. it's still freaking delicious. Mm. Mm. How is it? Fantastic. Another tamarind chutney. Mm. Mm. Oh, you know what? One more. All right. You complete this one. You complete it? Yeah, of course. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> you know they say, there's always more room. Mm. One more. No. One more. No. All right. Lastly, we're gonna have some tea, some red tea. Last one, cinnamon tea, red tea. Okay, especially for the customer. Mmm. Nice and tasty. Hey, thank you so thank much. You. Thank welcome, you. Thank welcome, you. Welcome, welcome. Today was an amazing Omani food tour. My friend over here, how you doing? You good? You good? He was in the background the whole time, but it was all good. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we had went to three spots today. I had sandwiches, at jelly and cheese. Jelly then and I cheese. went to the Dukana, Dukana yes. amazing like breakfast brunch spot. And then we came here to La Hab Kitchen. Lahab so kitchen. fire kitchen. Yes. Amazing. Fire, fire, fire. And that's it, my friends. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe to my okay. channel for more awesome travel content. We'll see you in the next travel food adventure mm -hmm. somewhere in Oman, maybe the desert. Wow. 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 Maybe some camel. Wow. Nice. <laughs> I, I love like this guy, I dude. Like, I like it, the milk. <laughs> <laughs>